Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video and today we're going to talk about Samsung Notes inside of the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and exactly what is all new. So this is a full in-depth detailed tutorial of Samsung Notes. So if this is your very first time checking out this channel, I want to say welcome. Also, if there's something that helps you guys out, make sure you guys give a huge like and then also if there's something that you guys love, click on that subscribe button below the video so I can help you guys out with much more videos coming up with the Galaxy Note 8. So inside of Samsung Notes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the very bottom right hand side and click on create. Now one of the fun things I want to do though is I want to go up here to this little voice icon and what it's doing is it's automatically recording my voice and creating it into a little section inside of this note. So let's head over into the text. So on the very top what I'm going to do is I'm going to say first. You know this is the first time that I'm playing with Samsung notes for you guys and then also on the very top let's categorize this so we can add a little category and we can call this one YouTube so I know that this one right here is already getting onto YouTube and at any point in time I can do a little finder uh, and I'd be able to find this note really fast just by clicking on YouTube now below here what we're gonna do is if we want to keep it inside of the text you can see that I've already have one that's written um, you can also do a little bit of a swipe as well if you wanted to go a little bit faster and then also as well what I'm able to do is right here this is where a little text field is at so since I'm hovering with the air view I can click on that little text icon and then I can write many more words so I can say you know how nah, I didn't even write that right <laughs> let's go on back and if you do a little dash of the word it's able to delete it so let's go into you know how are you you know, I'm not that good of a writer, but here it is, and it put it right up there over for me inside of text. The other cool thing is you just click the little button, it takes you right back over into your keyboard. Now let's head over and let's see exactly what are these things down here able to do. So this is a way that you'd be able to make a little checklist. Um, if you don't want to have a checklist, you can also use one that is the little numbered list. Here's one that is the bullet points, and let's go into and make this thing bold. So I'm gonna write the word true, just so you guys can kind of see what that looks like. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and we can italicize that so let's go over in there and now you can see that that one is also italicized and then since I'm done with the bold and italicized let's go over to the underline and let's write this word one more time so you can see the big difference in the very bottom right hand side this is where you'd be able to choose what color you would like to the text to come out as checking out the next category on the very top this one is referred to as pen or this is where you're able to write and now that right there is a little too thick for me. So on the very bottom down here, what you're able to do is hit on that pen settings. You can make it a little bit more thin. Maybe you want to use pen. You'd really be able to use any of these here. You also have a full color spectrum as well. And then let's hit on that little clear. And then now we can kind of say something here. And then again, I'm going to say hello to anybody that is new and anybody that's rejoining. Here is the race button. Right now, this is set up to do uh, line by line. If you tap it one more time, this is the whole area touch. So I can make this a huge eraser and it starts to erase pretty much everything that gets inside of its path. Um, or what you'd be able to do is click it and then you can hit on erase all for anything that's right here. But for the sake of it, I want to at least have something that is written right there. You also have the back button and forward button. The cool thing is right here for underneath the pen, which we're still inside. This one over here is the easy writing. For easy writing, what this does is it creates a little field. And any time that you write inside of this field, it's going to stay inside the lines. The great thing about it is that you're not going to go all over the place. So you can see up here how I'm going all over above and below these two lines. Uh, but this one right here, you know what? I'm never get... And the reason why I did that is so you can see exactly where it still ends. So I can still put in the word there, never getting out. So it's going to keep it right inside those two lines there for you. And it keeps it kind of a little bit more, you know, pretty looking, I guess you can say. Let's go over into brush. So brush is something that's really fun. This was also in the note seven. So let's go over and let's do a little bit of coloring. So here is red. The nice thing about this thing here is that usually on some of the older Samsung Note phones that if I was to go inside of here, it's going to overlap it with yellow. Well, what happens when you mix red with yellow? It creates orange. So if I'm going to lift up my pen a few times, I can get that orange effect in there and a little bit more of the yellow as well, too. So you can actually have a lot of fun with this if you would like. And you can choose all the different colors up here. You can change from an oil paintbrush uh, to all these other stuff like airbrush. But the oil paintbrush is one of those that's super fun. Probably the most popular one inside of here. And then when you hit on done, what this will do is as you can see here, I've got my title. 
This right here will be my voice that'll play out throughout this you know, whole thing if you want to check it out. Here's all the different text. Here is the pen. Here is the oil painting. Uh, it's, just, it's just really fun. You're also able to add in a image. So here's an image from before. And so now this will also be a part of my long notes. And then one more time is voice. If I was to click voice one more time, then that right there uh, would be able to create my voice and create another one, but I'm already recording one at the moment. So here we go, and let's hit on this play button. Icon. And what it's doing is it's automatically recording. So let's say that you're you know creating a whole bunch of notes, you wrote everything down, but you're able to kind of notate a little bit of exactly what all you're talking about with this one um, because you know maybe you have to have a little bit of explanation behind all these different paintings. So on the very top, this is where you'd be able to save it. Top right, you'd also be able to turn off S Pen only. So um, or you can turn it on S Pen only. So right here, um, it's kind of a way that if you're using your finger or not using your finger. So that's a couple of different settings. And really this is pretty much the whole just of Samsung Notes. So I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna hit on save. I can also go back in there and I can edit it if I would like. I can share it and then also on the very top I can lock it so I don't ever lose it. I can pin it to my home screen. I can also send to reminder and also print it. So this right here has been the full detailed explanation of exactly what Samsung Notes is able to do. So like I said from the very beginning of this video, if this is something that you guys have liked, make sure you guys hit that like button. If it has helped you guys out and taught you something, go below and hit on that subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.